Hello y'all, how's everybody doing today? Well, I finally got me a day off. I come running over here to friends of mine who's been having these logs for a while for me and come pick them up. These are all just regular old pine logs. Make some good two by fours, two by sixes. I got some more one by fours to make. The bark is just starting to come off of it which is fine it doesn't hurt at all in a pine log they're soft so they're they're easy to cut anyway well, i got the old truck loaded down got my tractor to the side what i'm gonna do is go home and pull these off and then i'll come back and get my tractor i'm on i'm only about i don't know seven or eight miles from my house so it's really not that far but guys, I'm going to get this to the house. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this up because i got some hay guys at the house right now cutting hay. I don't know if I'll be out there raking with them or helping them cut what's going on. But Lord willing, creek don't rise, I'm going hunting this evening. Let's go cut some logs up or do some hay. We're going to do something today. All right, guys. What I'm going to try to do... Let's try to roll some of these logs off the side without tearing my fenders up too bad. I usually use the tractor to unload them, but my tractor's on the other end where I just loaded these logs. So I gotta get these logs off here and go back and get my tractor. Let's see if we can get them off. Going too good. I'm gonna try to go the other way with that one. That baby went all the way out in the middle of the road. probably come run over. You know how she runs over everything.
guys. I'm gonna show you a little trick with this right here. You wrap this chain around here. If you hook this chain on the top like this and you pull, that is what we call a worm hook. It's not right. Take this chain, this hook, and come from the bottom side. When you hook it from the bottom side, it grabs in the logs and pulls a lot better. This is the way it's supposed to be hooked up. Now you can also, if you got more than one log, come back and hook it like this. And what that does when you pull, it squeezes your logs together and it tightens your chain up. Just a little trick that you learn over the years fighting with this stuff and having to get off the tractor and go back here and hook it up again. Just come from underneath, and it's there to stay. bit bigger that's the biggest one I had on there and it come right off Alright guys, I just come back to pick my tractor up and uh, they got a truck that's cleaning up on the side of the road. This is from after the storm. They got a, contractors come in there and these people are actually from Pennsylvania. They're over here cleaning the trash up. You know, I'm, I'm not, it's all the tree limbs and logs and stuff like that. If them guys wouldn't have cut this so short, I'd been able to get these, but I'm going to show y'all what they're doing. do a good job and come by and pick up all the big stuff anyway that's why anytime we have a storm over here with a hurricane come through that's what they do they'll you, you cut your trees off your house and out of the yard and stuff and you just stack it on the side of the road and they'll come by and pick it up well guys we made it back home fixing up drop the trailer off take the tractor off and take a little break it took me about three hours to go get them loads of logs Get everything taken care of. The cows are hungry. When I'm home, Jared don't feed. I gotta go feed. So they're ready. Well, guys, if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up. Share it out, man. I mean, that's the best way you can help our channel is by sharing it out to your friends on social media. But guys, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for everything that y'all do for us. God bless, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.